Good morning everyone. This is Harald Lambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at AeronFX, bringing you the morning comment for the 18th of May. Japan dodges uh, technical recession. Japan's economy expanded in the first quarter data showed overnight, dodging a technical recession with uh, consumer and government spending as the main drivers of uh, growth. GDP rose 0.4% quarter over quarter after contracting 0.3% uh, the previous quarter. The growth rate beat estimates of a modest 0.1% uh, rise. However, the report also showed that inflationary pressures uh, eased throughout uh, the quarter as uh, the GDP deflator slowed notably. The yen strengthened uh, against its major counterparts at the release but gave back the gains to trade even lower in the following hours as uh, the soft inflation print may have kept speculation elevated that the Bank of Japan is likely to ease again in June. Indeed, with uh, a negative CPI uh, reading for March, a slowing manufacturing sector, and a strong yen overall, further Bank of Japan action seems likely, despite the encouraging GDP print. The focus is now likely to shift uh, to the upcoming G7 uh, meeting scheduled uh, next week, which uh, could determine the yen's uh, near-term direction. If Japan manages to gain support from the other nations for a response to the strong yen, we could see the currency coming under renewed selling pressure on concerns that coordinated FX uh, intervention could uh, be on the cards should they again strengthen further. Elsewhere, two regional uh, Fed's, Fed presidents uh, stated that they expect two or even three rate hikes this year given that the economy continues to show encouraging signs. Atlanta Fed President Dennis Lockhart and San Francisco Fed President John Williams, both uh, non-voting FOMC members this year, suggested that the market is too pessimistic regarding the Fed's uh, pace of, norm of uh, normalization and that June remains a live meeting. These hawkish comments uh, bring flashbacks of various FOMC speakers in mid-March who advocated uh, rate hikes as early as April in light of resilient U.S. data. Chair Yellen shortly after uh, adopted a cautious stance and essentially raised uh, such uh, expectations. Given that Yellen is scheduled to speak uh, next week, we prefer to wait for the Fed Chair to set the tone about the likelihood of uh, near-term hikes. The April FOMC meeting minutes uh, due out today could also shed some light on the hike debate among, among the FOMC, but we doubt that they will materially affect investors' uh, rate hike expectations. At that meeting, officials uh, stood pat as well, uh, as was widely expected, and gave no signals that they are willing to hike rates in June. Market pricing uh, currently implies that the central bank is unlikely to touch uh, the hike button this year. However, we view that assessment as too pessimistic at this point, as U.S. data have been weak only during the first quarter and have indeed showed signs of improvement at the start of the second one. Thus, we will stick to our guns and support that the Fed is likely to pull the hiking trigger only once this year, with the most likely candidates being September and December. From the UK, we get the employment report uh, for March. The unemployment rate is expected to have remained unchanged, while average uh, weekly earnings are forecast to have slowed somewhat. Decelerating earnings could bring uh, the pound under renewed selling interest at the release. That being said, we see upside risks uh, to the earnings uh, forecast. The services PMI survey for the month showed that employment continued to rise while firms said uh, they paid higher wages to retain good staff. If indeed wages uh, beat estimates, the pound is likely to extend its uh, recent gains. Eurozone's final CPI for April is also coming out. We have only one speaker scheduled for today, Norges Bank Governor Oysten Olsen. For more information, including technical analysis, please read the full comment on ironfx.com or download our app and get all the information you need to trade. Also, you can follow us on Twitter, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, or circle us on Google Plus to get more trading ideas. This is Harald Ambos Pissuros, Senior Analyst at IronFX, wishing you solid trading.